Hi, I'm going to show you how to administer your IV medication at home using an elastomeric pump. That's what this is here. Your medication is inside this ball, okay? Uh, a lot of times the, this type of medication is required to be refrigerated. And so before you actually administer this medication, you wanna take it out of the refrigerator and let it sit out for about 30 minutes just so that it can get to room temperature. Because uh, if you put cold medication uh, into your vein, it can, can make you really cold. So let it kind of get to room temperature. We're gonna use the SASH method of administration. That's an acronym that we use, S-A-S-H. It stands for, the first S is for saline, because we're gonna do a saline flush. Then the A in SASH stands for administer. We're gonna administer the medication. Then the second S in SASH is another saline flush. And then the H in SASH is a heparin flush. That's what we're gonna do uh, when we finish the whole process of administering your medication. You finish with the heparin, and then we'll put on a cap, a, a new sterile cap when we're finished. So first thing is, wherever you decide to do this, if it's gonna be uh, at your dining room table, like I'm doing now, or uh, on a TV tray, or on your bed, just make sure that it's a very clean surface. I cleaned my table off really good here, and then I laid down a clean towel, just so that we don't have any bacteria in this area. We wanna make sure it's nice and clean, okay? You want to wash your hands very, very good for, you know, 20, 25 seconds in hot water and then also use hand sanitizer, okay? So I'm going to put some hand sanitizer on before I start this. Uh, you'll also have gloves provided to you. You're welcome to use gloves. Uh, if you don't want to use the gloves, like I said, just wash your hands really good and use hand sanitizer, okay? So the first thing we're going to do, when you get your... Um, pick line. Uh, you've probably got a cap on your pick line, like this orange cap here. And we're going to remove this cap and it's going to go in the trash. The reason it's going to go in the trash is because every time we administer our medication, we're going to put a new sterile cap uh, on the pick line to replace it. Okay, so that's trash. Now we're going to clean this pick line really good for uh, 20 seconds. Okay, so get out your alcohol wipes. You're going to have everything laid out here in your sash format with your alcohol wipes. So you're going to, like I said, clean your pick line here vigorously uh, for 20 seconds. Okay, so you want to get a good uh, clean it on the top, the tip, and all around. And that's what makes this pick line sterile. Okay. And that should be good. Okay. Then you're going to, don't touch this because you just got it nice and clean. However, if you do touch it or you drop it and you think that it's dirty again, you just clean it again vigorously for another 20 seconds. Okay. So to start our sash process, we're going to get our first saline flush out and there is an air bubble inside here that I don't want to push into the line and so we're going to hold this saline in this direction so that the air bubble stays up here at the top okay so we're going to just twist this off cap goes in the trash and again we're not touching the tip of your pick line okay and this, to do this, you push in and twist, okay? And then, again, you're holding your saline syringe in this upright direction. And you're going to just start to push here. And you're going to go nice and slow. And you kind of, sometimes I'll do like a push-stop method where we do push, stop. Push, stop, 
než stát, než stát, než stát. And then I'm going to stop at the 1 ml. And I want you to stop at the 1 ml because that's going to uh, keep that air bubble from going into the line. Okay, so once you've gotten to that 1 ml, you can disconnect this. Okay, and then there's no needle in this, so that can go in the trash. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is before I connect the tubing uh, uh, of my elastomeric pump. I want to prime the line of this pump because right now there's air in this line and I want to make sure that I'm not pushing that air into my pick line, okay? So in order to do that, you're going to take this clamp right here and you're just going to pull back right there and it's going to open it like that. And then you're going to wait for it to drip out of the line and there's the medication, it's dripping out there. Now you'll clamp the line back so that it will stop dripping out, okay? So now I know that it's pushed all the air through the line and out, and it's ready to be uh, connected to my pick line uh, just as soon as I sterilize this again, okay? So now we're gonna sterilize the pick line. Every time we connect and disconnect anything from our pick line, we're going to clean it, okay? So again, vigorously clean the tip of your pick line for 20 seconds, okay? So we're gonna clean this again. Just like before on the tip, all around. Vigorously. And that's pretty good. All right, so now we can take the tubing to our, of our medication and connect that to our pick line, just like we did the saline. It's a push in and twist, okay? And now, once we've got this connected, we can open our clamp back up, just open it up, and it will start to administer and it's going to take anywhere between 30 and 90 minutes to administer this medication, okay? And the neat thing about these elastomeric pumps, it doesn't have to be hanging up or, uh, you know, it's because it's not gravity fed. So literally you can put this in your pocket if you'd like and go walk around or if you feel more comfortable just setting it beside you uh, in the bed or on your chair or something, then you can do that as well, okay? And when it's completely uh, empty, there's no more medication in this, this uh, rubber here that's got the medication inside of it will be all flattened out and it will be time to disconnect it from your pick line, okay? So let's say this is finished and it's all administered. Now we can just, if you want to clamp it closed, you can. And then you're going to disconnect it. And this medication ball, your elastomeric pump and all the tubing can go in the trash or recycled. It's um, all plastic and we're never going to use that again. Okay, now then what we've done is we've done our first saline flush and administered our medication. So in the acronym SASH, we've done the S and the A. Now we're gonna do the second S, which is your second saline flush. So the same process, we're gonna clean our pick line. Really good for 20 seconds. Okay, vigorously. Get set nice and sterile. We're gonna get the tip clean. Okay, that's good. 
And then again, don't touch your pick line because you just cleaned it. And we're going to take the cap off of our saline flush, attach by pushing and twist. Okay. And again, we're going to keep our eye on the um, milliliters right here. As we push this, we're going to nice and slow. Sometimes it's tough to get started, so you just kind of put your palm on it, get it going, and then nice and slow push, stop, push, stop, push, stop, push, stop. And you can see that air bubble right in there. We're going to push till we get to that one ml because I don't want to push that air bubble into my pick line. Okay. And then we're going to just take that off. This goes in the trash. And now it's time to do our heparin flush, which heparin is going to be a lot less. It's about five milliliters um, of heparin in here. And again, it has an air bubble in there. So we're going to hold our heparin flush in this upright position as well. But first, we're going to clean our pick line again. Okay. Vigorously for 20 seconds. And then you'll take your heparin flush, take the cap off. You're not touching this, but again, if you do, just clean it again. Same process, push and twist. Keep an eye on your milliliters here. And we're gonna stop at the one ml so that we don't push that air bubble into the line. Nice and slow. and stop at the 1ml and I can see that air bubble sitting right there. You'll disconnect this and this goes in the trash. Okay, last little step that we have here is you're going to have your sterile cap inside of this packaging. Okay, uh, when we open this, you're going to just peel the tip, the little top of this cap off just like that. Okay. And if you look inside there, uh, it is that paper stuff in there is all saturated in alcohol. And the orange part is rubber. It doesn't actually screw onto your pick line. It kind of just pushes on. So what you're going to do is you're going to push your pick line into that. Kind of push it on like this. And then when you release, you've got your sterile cap on your pick line and your packaging that you've been touching with your fingers uh, goes in the trash, okay? And your, uh, your new cap, new sterile cap is gonna stay on your pick line until the next time you get ready to administer, right? Now, I have an extension added on to my pick line, which allows me to do this myself. And what I want you to do is if you have your extension on as well, just make sure that your, your line is uh, safe and secure. I kind of roll it up like this and tuck it in to a gauze, kind of, I call it a gauze sock, and make sure that, that there's no tubing hanging out because you don't want that to get snagged on anything and pull your pick line out. So if you get this all nice and secure in there, and then you can even put your shirt over it, no one will even know that you've got it there.
I think that you're going to do great with this and um, good luck.